Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of uh, Message of Hope. And today, directly from the UK, we have the pleasure to have uh, Karina Loweth, who joins us, like I said, from the UK. And she's also a transformational coach. That's not an easy word for me. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome, Karina. Thank you. Hi. Bonjour. Bonsoir. <laughs> Merci. Um, I will ask you the famous question, which is, how does having this understanding, how does that help you navigate whatever shows up in your life? Hmm. Well, it's made like a real big difference. I could say it was like, it revolutionized my life when I first came across it. So, and it's just continued. It's like an evolution. It keeps on giving. There's, there's always more to see, but, um, how it changed my life when I came across it, it was totally by chance. I wasn't looking. Um, I, I, it was, it was an HR talk that I came across, um, around state of mind. I was intrigued. Um, and next thing I know, I'm on this full journey, exploring more around the understanding. Um, and what it did is it, first of all, just helped me see that, oh my goodness, um, what I thought was fixed and solid reality out there was not. You know, it's, it's, it, I thought it was like, you know, the metaphor of the camera that we're looking, we're seeing and we're taking it in. Um, we're sort of, you know, and, and that's an outside in approach, but actually, no, it was completely opposite. It was my thinking, creating my experience. And that was like mind blowing because I'd been very much at the time in a bit of a victim mentality around being a single mom. It was a real struggle for me at the time. And I felt very trapped and stuck and realizing that actually you know, things weren't necessarily fixed in, in stone as I thought, just started to help things loosen up for me. And, and I could see actually, no, there's, there's a million different ways of looking at things. And so my perspective started to, to open up. It's like my aperture of the lens just went wider and wider. And I started to see, oh my goodness, there is not one way of being in this situation. I can, I, I'm a creator of my experience that there is freedom for me to play here. So Understanding how my experience was created just gave me a lot of freedom of mind. Um, the understanding also helped me to see how busy my mind was, how fast I was going. Um, as a former lawyer, you know, analysis was, was one of my strengths, I thought. So a lot of rumination, a lot of working things out, figuring it out that came very naturally to me, but it also meant that I had quite a lot of sped up thinking and I wasn't fully present in the moment. So having understanding helped me to, to slow down and be more engaged in life to, to, yeah, just to take in more. Um, and, and, you know, with presence comes a certain ease and well being that perhaps what hadn't been available to me, um, before, but also really significant is, um, around my identity. You could say that I was under a mistaken identity of who I was. I really truly believed in my um, character that I'd built up of, of who I was. Yeah, like um, I really believe my thinking. And so I didn't have any, um, like a lot of people come to this understanding through really suffering from anxiety or depression or all sorts of different sort of, you know, significant struggles. I wouldn't say that I, that I had a significant struggle, but I, definitely um was was um under a lot of self-doubt um and holding myself back and playing small and thinking that there was somewhere to get to that i needed to to fix myself to improve myself i didn't feel okay as i was and so when i came across this understanding again it was like a complete change in perspective it was seeing well actually i'm innately well everything is is perfectly designed the only thing going on is that i've got a whole load of thinking that's clouding it that's 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 covering up that well-being and actually i could see there were moments in my life where you know i'd say i'd say the opposite oh i'm not feeling myself which implies that there were moments that i did feel myself and 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 kind of like that was when basically i had no thinking in my mind and i was as present in life and i felt good and realizing that that's the default. It's not something that I have to try and get to and earn my way to and achieve my way to or, or get exactly the right circumstances in my life 
Um, no, that's always available to me in any given moment. That was massive for me. And just seeing that possibility, at first it was just seeing it as, ooh, wow, what if that's true? And, and, and I could, it resonated within, like something stirred with me in that, yes, that's true. And then I just had to get more and more curious about it. So it was an evolution. And, and, and you know, this was maybe three or four years ago that I came across the understanding. And I'd say it's only in the past year, really, that I've started to embody that, really to know that I have everything I need, that I am perfectly designed. Um, as I started to understand more how, you know, the role that thinking plays in my life that when I have a thought um, which comes with a feeling that I don't like, I don't need to be frightened of it. I don't need to fix it. I don't need to do anything about it. I can just be with a sensation knowing that thoughts are transient. And that if I don't add to the story of the thought and create more thought babies from it, that actually, you know, that discomfort will pass and that there's something there to be seen. There's an opportunity or a gift there to, to know myself, the, my true self at a deeper level. So, so that felt really empowering too, to know that actually, you know, we're perfect designed to respond in the present moment. So that now is something that, you know, I really value is, is, is the silence, the pauses, the, yeah, the just slowing down. Because what's available in that slow, you know, slowing down is this incredible deeper intelligence that we all are part of. And so whereas before, as a lawyer, especially, you know, the intellect was was king and, and, and I developed that a lot. Actually, I realized there was something far greater at play that's on offer for all of us. And, and it's called by different names, you know, maybe intuition, some people resonate with or, or wisdom, um, spirit, whatever. The unit, you know, there's there's something guiding us and and, and creating and, 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 you know, making our, our blood flow, our heartbeat that we have no control over, but we can tap into and is always there. Um, so, and that's got me like really, really interested um, and passionate about creativity because I think that is the perfect way to experience, um, to, to experience that flow, you know, and creatives, especially musicians or anyone who's been creative will, will fall into whatever they're doing, fall into that presence and feel like something's being channeled through them and mm -hmm. they, they create something which their intellect wasn't really part of. And that is us connecting to the essence of who we are. Um, and, and that excites me um, because I know that that's where the infinite potential lies. Not in my thinking, in my conditioning, where there's so many limitations going on. If I can't do this or, you know, limited by my past is, is what I thought before. Oh, I can't do this because I've not managed before. No, everything is possible. Um, and so really sort of embracing that, um, trusting that, you know, to some extent there's, a, there's an element of trust. And, and I had an example a couple of years ago where um, I'm quite a visual person and I had to drive to, to a workshop and it was a location that involved quite a few roundabouts and I wanted to really visualize the journey to, to have it all figured out and mapped out, you know, that again, my intellect really in on it, right? I'm gonna sort this out. And then it occurred to me, okay, well, why don't you just use your GPS? But I noticed that I didn't quite trust the GPS. Mm. And so I was second guessing it and the mind was still there trying to get in on it um, until I noticed, hang on, this is not helpful. What, what would happen if I just completely followed the direction of the GPS? And sure enough, that was a whole lot easier. And I got to my destination. It was just, you know, much more fun, much more fun, um, much more relaxing. And so that's how I see what's available to us in our lives when we face change. You know, we think suddenly that we need to, to work it all out and have an answer and, and know exactly all the steps, the, the how to. And I've had lots of life circumstances, you know, recently where I have had to, I'm thrown into the unknown. And I've had to trust that inner guidance. And if I get quiet and I listen, something occurs to me to do next. And so I've really embraced the understanding has helped me to embrace the unknown as well. Like really fall in love with the unknown because that's beyond my intellect and that's where the gold lies because I can imagine something, but my imagination is only limited by what I know. Whereas if I'm in the unknown and open and wide open, 
anything is possible and opportunities are possible. So, yeah, just understanding who I really am and where my experience is created from has allowed me to live more from a place of love, coming from love, which is, I think, our essence as well, you know, love, peace, mm -hmm. um, peace of mind, wisdom, um, and not be dictated so much by fear. So that was like the biggest change for me. Um, and yeah. Um, and then the other big thing that it's also knowing that I have everything that I need allows me to accept, to fall and to accept, not immediately, and sometimes it takes time, but allows me to remember, oh yes, accepting what is may not be as I think I wanted it to be, but if I can just be with what is knowing that some the universe is a friendly place, something is 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 happening that's just beyond what I know, just to trust, rather than be in resistance. Because in being in resistance is what creates all the suffering. So that's kind of like what occurs to me. Um, so whilst I haven't had like a big life transformative story, my quality of life, my ability to recover from things that, you know, from spanners in the work, obstacles in my pathway has been, you know, completely, well, yeah, changed by this understanding. Um, so I'm ever so grateful for it. Um, and I love that there's more to see um and you know it's it's to me a journey you know always coming back to the heart and, and not by you know going up to the head that conditioning kind of seems to to put me up there and i have blind spots and mm. we all do right <laughs> but that's opportunity for growth and yeah and i'm just more at peace with that like there's the, i don't have to be afraid of discomfort that doesn't have to stop me in my tracks as it did before i can still show up even if it's uncomfortable and as soon as i've got myself off of my mind which is usually what's causing the discomfort you know i'm in the moment and all is well um and i love sharing this understanding as a coach you know um because when you can speak to the the divinity the the, the the essence of the other person who just at the moment is caught in a lot of thinking and isn't seeing possibility it's it's just so it's so rewarding and it's so hopeful i can see it for them and and we just lose perspective when it's our own stuff going on you know it's it's right here we can't see so i love guiding people back to who they are and yeah bringing hope and possibility Hope not that there's a place they need to get to, but that actually where they are right now is 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 all good. That's perfect. So there we go. Hey, I know that you mentioned that you're a single parents. I we know each other. Uh, yeah, so yeah, people. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I know that you have a teenage son. Mm -hmm. So did that change the way you your your parent? Yeah, yeah. Because um, before I was quite hands-on, you know, wanting to protect him, make sure that he he knew what he was doing. But he's just done exams and I have just left him to it because I know he has this wisdom inside him too. I know that he has all that he needs. I don't have to be worried that he, for example, at the moment doesn't know what he wants to do because I know that will come and I know that he doesn't need to figure it out. Um, he has a little bit of the understanding, but, it, you know, typically doesn't really want to listen to mum. But I also see, I see the joy. I see the default. He's he's joyful until he's caught in his thinking and, and I don't make a big deal of it. And so he recovers more quickly because I'm not thinking there's something wrong. So he doesn't feel like there's something, you know, wrong with him. He just knows, oh, yes, sometimes I'm caught up um, and he knows that that, that will pass. Um so it's just made it it's just made it much more of a beautiful journey we're just really good friends and sometimes he drives me mad and sometimes I, I go inside out and think that he like I've just said he drives me mad but it's not that it's always my thinking about you know expectations I have of him that's what I'm experiencing and so then I remember oh yeah that's what I'm doing again I'm getting impatient that he's taking so long to get ready for the school bus and I think he's going to miss it but no 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 it's 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 okay you know some days it doesn't bother me, some days it does. It's my thinking, that's all that's at play. So again, there's less heaviness, less taking it so seriously. I know he's got it and he's bright and he'll figure things out. 
and he's got a good heart and so yeah but he's away at the moment and I have to say I'm really loving <laughs> I'm loving the space, the little break. Need a bit of a break, yeah. So yeah, yeah. See, that's the beautiful thing. It's we're dancing between the, we're human beings. You know, we're not all with the understanding. It's not like because this is one misunderstanding that I had. As I thought, oh, okay, so now I have this understanding. You know, if I if I'm feeling upset, anxious, there's something wrong. I haven't got it. But no, it's like embracing the whole of the human experience. We're human and being. We're not these spiritual Zen people the whole time I mean I don't think that's realistic I think we were meant to be to be both you know um and I and I and I just actually just one thing that I wrote down that I saw um today someone had posted around Einstein a quote and this is just a section of it he said our bodies are instruments through which the soul play their music and I just think that's so beautiful you know if we can dance with both the human side of ourselves and not have to um deny it or or numb it out, but just accept that it's all okay. It's all transitory. And then, you know, really tap into the essence of who we are. That's a beautiful dance that we can have. Um, and yeah, why, what a place the world would be if we could all, you know, have that in mind and, and we all fall in and out of it. And that's okay too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Karina, for your uh, wisdom. You did beautifully. Um, and I know there's the infamous question too. So uh, how can people find you? Okay, well, I'm currently not super active on social media, but I do have a, an Instagram account and a Facebook account, Karina um, Loweth Coaching for Instagram, and then obviously my name for Facebook. And I'm in the process of um, setting up a, a website, which will be um, Karina Loweth, which is L-O-W-E-T-H, so C-A-R-I-N-A-L-O-W-E-T-H dot com. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear from anyone who wants to have a conversation. Thank you, Karina. Thank you, Martin.